What's up guys, this is Papa Jake and you're watching Box Ford Armor! Let's go Logan! What you got bro? Come on! Let's go! You got nothing on me bro. Not when I got this. Looks like I'm finally gonna win this turn. You messed up again. Darn it, Logan always wins the Nerf Wars with those good guns. If only I had something that could stop those bullets. Something that would allow me to still be in the Nerf game. What could stop a bullet like this? What could protect me while I return fire against Logan? I've got it. I'll use my box for building skills. I will build box armor. I'll build the greatest box armor. I'll build a suit of armor. I'm going to make the greatest set of box for armor. None of his Nerf tarps will even be able to touch me. I'll be unstoppable. This will be the greatest thing I've ever built. Jake's making his own box fort armor. Looks like I'm gonna have to make some of my own. Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Papa Jake here from Team Bivney, and we're back and we're doing a brand new video and today we are gonna be making box fort armor or box armor or cardboard armor. Logan, what's it called? Is it box armor, cardboard armor, or box fort armor? The official term is box fort armor. It's box fort armor. We're building out of our old box fort. That's true. That's that's very true. We are. We're using scraps of old box fort. Check this out, guys. It is literally the top half of our castle box fort, and we're using that in our armor. So basically what we're gonna do, guys, is it's another challenge. Video. It is a Jake versus Logan day, and we are gonna go all out in this armor building contest. I'm gonna go over on that side of the backyard, and Logan's gonna stay over here, and we are both gonna have a set amount of time to build our box fort armor. I'm gonna build a massive suit of armor, and we're gonna put both suits through an epic test to see which one is the strongest and best set of armor. <laughs> For battle. All right guys, so we got a bunch of resources here to divide through. I'm actually gonna be using a lot of small pieces. I think the key to making armor is not to use a lot of big pieces because you don't wanna be all like big robot full of boxes and you can't maneuver around. I'm going for speed, speed is key. That's how I'm gonna take down Logan. Logan, what, no, Logan, that's my idea. Stop doing that. That's a very bad idea. That's, oh dude, that's a sick piece. <laughs> I invented that, that's my idea. We have all of our stuff here, and I also have a secret weapon. We're gonna use this as the basis for our box fort armor helmet, and this is gonna allow us to strap it on and have a protective see-through kind of glass. Now, I don't wanna spoil all the tests we're gonna put our armor through, but I will say that there is definitely gonna be an epic battle between me and Logan. We're also gonna be bringing out a paintball gun. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with my armor yet. Something on the lines of like using these boxes for my arms and my legs, but I'm just gonna have to go for it. Okay, so a little update. So far, I built my leg armor. These are for my knees right here. This this little flap and this flap covers my knees. And then those are for the lower leg. So pretty much we have the entire chest covered, slots for the arms. The only thing that's missing from this is the spine and back area, which I'm about to add a flap. So I've been building for a little while now. And as of right now, I have the bases down for my pants as well as this area of the actual armor itself. It's looking good so far. Still have to work on the shoes and I still have to work on the top, but I think I'm gonna work on my helmet as well as my chest armor separately and then kind of slide into it as I go. So far, the hardest part has been figuring out where all my joints are. If you guys can see, there is actually a lot of mobility. I kind of left this part open so I can move my knees really easily. I can move this, I can kind of jump around. I got a lot of movement here. That was after a lot of work trying to figure out which parts need to be left kind of untaped and then which parts need to be taped down. This is currently what I look like. I am completely covered in box armor. I don't have this side done yet. This is kind of like my shoulder flap here. We did finish our helmet. This is probably the most important part of all of this. Show you guys what it looks like. So it's a little tight. I definitely made it a little too small, but now we got the helmet on. Box armor is looking awesome. I'm ready to battle. Give it up. 
All right, so I just finished all the pieces to my armor as well as made this SWAT looking shield. So I didn't make any armor for my arms, but that's why I made this massive shield just to do as much coverage as possible. I'm officially done my armor. It is looking amazing. I still got the fresh Yeezys on though, boys. You always gotta have the Yeezys on, but we got the armor ready. We've got the helmet ready. Now what we gotta do is wait for Logan. Once Logan is ready, we are gonna go and have an epic battle. But before epic battle, we gotta test this armor, okay? We gotta test this armor out. First, I'm gonna have to withstand the regular nerf darts. And I think the nerf darts are not gonna do anything. I think they're just gonna bounce off this armor. I'm gonna be completely fine. Then we move up to the Zynga bow. You guys know the Zynga bow is absolutely savage. And I gotta survive two to three massive Zynga bow shots to the chest. I think we'll be fine, but then, the final challenge is a paintball gun. That's right, we're gonna be shooting me with a paintball gun. I know this armor will survive. Now, Logan's armor is mainly built for the battle we're gonna have with our swords, so we're not gonna be testing it with all the other stuff because honestly, I don't know if it can withstand a lot of it. Mine was built more of a tank armor, so we're gonna test this against the Nerf gun, the Zynga bow, and then finally a paintball gun and see how it can hold up. Once that's done, we're going all out with a massive battle. All right, guys, now that I'm suited up in the armor, it's time to test out our very first First enemy is the good old-fashioned nerf gun. I'm gonna be standing here. Logan's gonna get set up I'm gonna see how much I can withstand and if I can keep walking towards him. Here we go If I can make it to you, no problem, then we're good to go. All right Yo, this has got nothing on the Let's go! All right, guys, so the Nerf gun did absolutely nothing. I didn't feel anything. I could have walked all the way up to Logan if I wanted to. In fact, I let him shoot me a little bit more just to test it out. But next up, we got the Zynga bow. Logan, I don't want you to hold back. I want you to give me everything you got with the Zynga bow. Give it to me. All right, here goes the first shot. Oh, dude, that was awesome. What? All right, guys, so we came inside because we sort of got rained out, and uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm covered in water, but so far, dude, this armor's been holding up. You know, you It's a tank. Here. Ready? Yeah. Punch you. Oh, come on. You can give me, give me right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, this is awesome. So, as you guys saw, the Zynga bow did absolutely nothing. The nerf darts just flew right off of me, uh, and I'm still holding strong. Honestly, the, the, the probably the worst thing for this armor was the water from the rain, which yeah. is so funny. But guys, we're still gonna do the paintball test and have an epic battle outside, but we're waiting for the rain to stop. In the meantime, we're gonna have Logan suit up in his armor and check it out. So as you can see, here is all of Logan's armor. He's about to put it on. Logan went for more of like a, like a skinny kind of no, 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 no. No, it's not Let skinny. me take that. Right. I went for more of a ninja, quick and efficient look. Oh, not like me. He's like hey, a, a, a big samurai. Give me something. Oh. Yeah, he's like a bomb squad guy. Okay. <laughs> Show me the armor, bro. Show me the armor. Oh, dude, that looks sick, bro. I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks really sick. But like, here's the thing, guys, right? Logan doesn't have as much armor as me. He's definitely not as tanky as me, but his movement is quick. He's got a lot of movement, a lot of range of motion. Honestly, this is gonna be a really close battle. Next up, we're gonna be using this. We got a paintball gun. It's a little bit wet. It kind of got soaked, but that's okay. Here, it's got some balls in it, so Logan's gonna fire these at me. And don't forget, guys, do not try this at home. We are box for building masters, and we know how to make proper box armor. You don't want to shoot each other unless you're playing paintball without the right equipment. Looks like it's good to go. This is box fort armor versus a paintball gun. Mask is going on. Let's see how I do. Oh! 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 Yeah, I'm gonna go a bit higher. Crazy, bro. Good I job, five, bro. Man. I can't. I'm yeah, but yo, this completely was sanded a barrage of paintball, guys. If that doesn't show you how savage this box board armor is, I don't know what will. Now it's time for Jake and Logan to go to battle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
That was crazy intense, guys. That was absolutely insane. If you guys enjoyed this, if you guys love these crazy experiments with cardboards, be sure to smack that like button down below. And guys, let us know which armor you think is the best in the comments section down there. And if you guys have some new ideas for us to make with boxes or cardboard, let us know in the comments section. But guys, this has been Papa Jake from Team Epiphany. I'll see you guys next time for another awesome video.